In February 2013, we began work on this part two of the Pix and Sight tutorial series. One year later, in February 2014, the updated Ripley version 1.08.01 .01 was released. And as it is now stable, we recommend replacing the older 1.8 version with it. While this new version implements many bug fixes and improvements to PI's platform, these are largely transparent to the end user. There are, however, a couple of significant changes to profile. Screen Transfer Functions Auto Stretch has gotten a boost. While clicking the atomic icon continues to apply the normal temporary auto stretch, shift click now applies a boosted stretch convenient for image analysis. As before, control clicking the icon opens the settings window where you can adjust both the boosted and normal auto stretch parameters. Remember, F12 cancels the stretch and STF functions are also available via this toolbar and a context menu. Earlier in Part 2, we saw a variety of intensity transformations for turning linear data into nonlinear pictures. As of 1.8.1, .1, there's a new kid on the block, sort of. The masked stretch process by Carlos Milovic and Juan is actually a new implementation of an older script available since 2007 by Carlos Sonnenstein and David Serrano. With its move from the script menu to the process menu, masked stretch is now much faster and more accurate. This process is designed to stretch the all-important midtones of astroimages while preventing saturation of brighter structures such as stars and cores. This is accomplished by automatically applying a series of weak stretches iteratively, masking the image successively with the result of the previous iteration. As the stretching begins, the masks are weak, so the stretching boosts the image globally. But once the image reaches a reasonably bright level, the masks become stronger to selectively protect bright structures. As they say, however, there's no free lunch and masked stretch tends to produce a result of low contrast. As we believe contrast is everything, we recommend using the new process judiciously. Good stretches with histogram transformation or other tools should not prove especially damaging to highlights, and as we've seen, these areas are reparable with tools such as morphological transformation and HDR multi-scale transform. Better then not to sacrifice contrast while being overly protective of highlights. One application where this is not so much an issue is with chrominance. Masked stretch could be used to preserve great star color down to the core while using a higher contrast stretch for luminance. We've also found masked stretch to be useful after an initial nonlinear stretch with a traditional method. As seen in this nonlinear image, MS is very good at developing extended areas while keeping star saturation 
to a minimum. Despite several settings, MS is very easy to use. Mouse over the various fields for additional information. In most cases, leave iterations at 100, and you may not need to change the clipping fraction either. The two critical factors are the background reference and target background setting. Use either this field or the ROI feature to point to a preview representing a sample of dark background sky. Enter what the desired mean background value should be after the stretch. Determining this can be assisted by measuring the current pre-stretch value with either the cursor or statistics. You can alternatively perform a histogram transformation of an image clone, then note the post-stretch mean value, and use it for masked stretches target background setting. If you'd like to just wing it, try a target background of between 0.05 and 0.15 to get started.